Education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world, said Nelson Mandela. Education is the key to a free and prosperous Britain, said Margaret Thatcher. The function of education, said Martin Luther King, is to teach one to think intensively and to think critically. Well, I've been thinking very intensively and very critically about the fact that the standard of a child's education can be determined by money. Ask yourselves this. How are state schools expected to perform as well as private schools with half the funding and double the pupils? It's no secret that students with private education go on to experience more job and social opportunities in later life. 74% of the country's top judges were educated privately, as were most of this country's politicians, such as everyone's favorite, Jacob Rees-Mogg. <laughs> Theresa May was also educated privately, though it's not really doing too good for her now, is it? <laughs> this is not what our predecessors fought for. Our predecessors fought for equality and justice and equal opportunity, and segregating school children on account of money is not equality. Now, if we abolish private schools, this leads to more investment in the state school program. The rich and powerful will have nowhere else to send their children, meaning they will be pumping these schools full of money and funding, ensuring every single child gets the fair education that they deserve. Now, Dr. Sheila Lawler of the think tank Politier said that we should not get rid of things that work already, but we should make other schools better. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a utopian fantasy. How can this be achieved with teachers' salaries decreasing year by year and schools expected to make cuts of three billion by 2020? Now, I chose this subject because as a state school pupil, there has always been a part of me that's been put down by the fact that many people get to experience a more luxurious kind of education. No child should be made to feel this way just because they can't spare 30 grand for a system which should not exist in the first place. I believe in a world where the standard of a child's education is not dictated by the amount of money in their parents' bank accounts. And I hope to see that dream become a reality. Thank you.